Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Main Event, welcome to Wednesday night, welcome to the night before Valentine's Day, and welcome to Morgan Styles. Hello, Dave. Hello, we're in Chicago, and we've got a great night ahead of us at Main Event. Oh, we can't wait. I can't wait, because we've got an intercontinental title match between Vladimir and Jason Jordan. Can't wait for this match. Can Vladimir stay unstoppable? Or will Jason Jordan take the title away from him? Jason Jordan needs to win. He hasn't won all season. How is he going to beat Vladimir? How did he get into the match? Because that's <laughs> really loved winners. Of course he does. That oh. is, that's your main event. If he doesn't win, he should be fired. <laughs> Coming up. Alexa Bliss versus Mexican Kelsey. Someone's greasy. Let's get on with it right now. Oh, I love greasy Mexicans. It's going to be a long show. It's a, it's a raw match. In Chicago, you know. Yeah, you, you did so. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce her first. She's five for the Fury. Alexa Bliss. I never like that name because she's actually five foot one. No, no, she's not. I measured no. her with five foot long sandwiches. Foot long? You like a good foot long during your day? <laughs> I had one today, actually. Yeah. Yes. What was on it? Uh, it was a It was actually a turkey, um, ham, and a bit of lettuce. I have a question for you, Dave. Yes. What do you reckon Alex or Bliss would say if I asked her to be my Valentine? She would probably give you uh, six roses. Oh, that's good, I guess. <laughs> guess so. Well, ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring from Greasy Mexico, she is Mexican Kelsey. It's a funny story about Mexican Kelsey, Dave. Yeah? What's that? I heard Dan Masters asked her to be his Valentine. Right. And. I can't understand the answer, but he took it as a yes. <laughs> any, any, any roses from that part? No, there was a fist to the face though. <laughs> Everyone loves a good fisting, of course we're on main event. Absolutely. It's not main event without a good fisting. <laughs> That's very true. Look at the new ring design as well, by the way. It's nice. I like it. Yeah. Something new. Did our usual ring designer make it? Um, we don't have a usual ring designer. We have the six of Danny's. No, 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 he doesn't know. No. Oh, he retired. He's slacking. He's your top. There's a miss it's of a, time. a drop kick there. And, oh, nice. Um, sort of clothesline? Yeah. Double look at, clothesline? Look at Me Mexican Kelsey. She's not greasy here tonight. Very educated, Pete. Why does it sound like you've got your hand over your mic? Which I probably do. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> it, makes me, uh, it makes me sound like Darth Vader. Uh, who's your father? Uh, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> of course. Uh, I, I can confirm. I'm not reading from paper. I've just got Vince McMahon in my ear. Uh, of course. What's he doing he, in your ear? Well, <laughs> he's, he's, he's quite used to my ears, to be fair. Fair enough. Oh, yes, of course. Like, if, yes, bets are open, of course. Uh, if you haven't done yes. so already, I know there's not many of you here, but for the people who are here, and oh, nice into the cover here. Wait a minute, the foot's surely on the rope there. Come on, blue shirt. Yes, blue shirt. Of course, your main event referee. Does blue shirt have a Valentine Day? Um, he does actually. Yellow shirt. No, blue pants. Blue pants. Of course. Da 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 da. What about you, Dave? You taking your wife's head for a date? <laughs> Why would I take my wife's head for a date? Because she's still your wife, apparently. How am I, uh, you know I've got Smackdown tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. So, Tim Price is your date? Well, Tim Price and probably about ten people in our Twitch chat. Oh, well, that's, a, that's a quite a big date, to be <laughs> fair. <laughs> it's probably an expensive one, to be honest as well. Probably. Let's just hope you're not footing the bill. Well... I'd, I did try and ask Tim, but, uh, you know, he's a bit uh, skinflint. As, uh, mini, call off the engagement, put it back on again. Reverse your vasectomy, go to China, something like that. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, I think I missed a bit out. 
It's all right. Tim will do it probably tomorrow. Of course he would. Because he is the king of commentary. <laughs> really? He wins one slam. He thinks he's the best at everything. Wait a minute well, there. Yeah. Oh, what a kick oh, there. My. The right to the breast. Oh, wait a minute here. And right across the top. Right, literally right across the bridge of the nose there. What are you going for here? Oh, they see the power bomb. Cover. No. Oh, no. Reversal. Oh. Ah, reversal. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and again. And again. Could be a while, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and no, we're not. Oh, no. We kicked out. Bets are closed if you haven't bet. Tough. No points for you. No. Oh, jumping into the corner. And nice arm drag. Do you know that um, Alexa Bliss is um, God? What's it called? A very nice ass. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, no apart okay. from that, no. It's uh, she can bend her arms different ways. Oh, it's um. Oh, I want to say it I'm strict, but it's not that. No, but it's not that. It's double jointed. That's it. I knew it wasn't a funny name. Ambidextrous is your. You've got the same dexterity with both hands. Uh, what happens so you when you're left handed? You, you better with your left hand. Ah, fair enough. As a... They're actually uh, some of the smartest people in the world. Ah. And they are likely to live shorter than people with right hand. Oh dear. Well, look, oh, wait a minute. Border toss! Toss you right over that border. And that could do it. Into the cover for a big win for Mexican. Kelsey! No! Took out with 2.5. Now we'd see it was more 2.7 to be honest on that one. Does it really matter? She kicked out, dude. Well, that is true. Uh, Max and Kelsey, I've just realised that uh, she really does need to try and get the other part of her leg. Like, she, she does. Uh, it's like uh, Jay Money last season had half finished pants. Uh, and she, she, I think she miss it, she's missing the green. She is. There's a. Uh, and Kelsey in complete control. Yeah, looking for another pin here. And again, only a one. What part of Mexico is she from, Dave? Uh, Mexico City. Oh, the capital. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute here. Oh, into the power bomb again. This time for the win. And still Alexa Bliss refuses to be pinned. Alexa Bliss being a bit greasy tonight. Well, you could see she's getting slippery out of them uh, pinfalls. Oh, wait a minute here, though. Oh, nice but kipple. Nice uh, bit of athleticism from the Mexican. Just a bit too quick for Alexa. It seems like it. Oh, oh chops yet. Yeah, not not fire pro girls. Get on with it. As, uh, fire pro, what's that, Dave? Half from Boston. Oh, never mind. I'll tell you later. Half oh. from Boston. And the kick away. Morgan, I got a bit of fan mail for you this week. Oh, that, oh okay. I don't know. It's good. Wait, wait, I'll tell you in a second. Oh, dear. Oh. Well, well you know what that is. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's actually quite good. Oh, wait a minute. Ten of the biggins. We're going to have got them all in this match. Jesus Christ. It's one of the big ones. Yes, that's everybody. ten points for the Twitch chat. Everybody, for the whole six of them. Yeah, that's 60 points, Dave. That's a lot of money. That <laughs> is true. Uh, wait a minute here. Alexa, bless with a DDT. Oh, Quick into the, the right cover. Two. And Alexa, and bless it. picks up the win. How about that fan mail, Dave? Uh, well, I'll tell you in the next match. Remind us in okay. the next match. Okay. Uh, Alexa Bliss demanding that her hand is raised as she picks up the win. Oh, she wants it again, just in case Come you on, Blue Shot, do your job. Well, she did it. He did it once. No point doing it twice. Jesus. It's his job, though. Well, Alexa Bliss picking up the win, of course, here tonight. Looking very proud that she beat a greasy match. <laughs> that is really true. And of course, remember, ladies and gentlemen, NSW comes your way five times a week. I wish it didn't sometimes, but it does. Uh, of course, Rage on a Monday, Raw on a Tuesday, Main Event on a Wednesday, Smackdown Live on a Thursday, and NXT on a Saturday. And of course, on Sunday, you've got um, Money in the Bank. So my life will probably be worth, not worth living by the end of it. That is our current schedule. Don't quote us on that after the break. <laughs> that is so true. Coming up next, the curfew man is in action. It's Curtis Barnett. Uh, takes on the man who loves to kick people, Shinsuke Nakamura. Right, Dave, we need to finish this by half-time. I've got a curfew. Wow. 
it's all down to how long the curfew man uh, wants to be out there for, I guess. Well, he's got a curfew as well. If you had kids, do you reckon they'd have a curfew? Oh, they definitely, definitely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, introduce him first. He is Shinsuke Nakamura. And also, you've got to say that you've, we've got to congratulate Shinsuke, of course, uh, Morgan. Of course. Uh, because he actually managed to half his entrance time this season. Wow. Yes. Uh, he was uh, sticking to the new NSW street guidelines. Yes. Uh, it has to be a very quick entrance, of course. Or you're fired. Oh, you're fired. Because we didn't see him much of last season because his entrance was too long. He saw it. Yeah. Uh, Vince McMahon said, you're not going out there and taking up precious screen time. Yeah. Either that's someone else, like Brock Lesnar. And just to remind people, of course, this is not an interactive universe. It is not. But you can it, interact with us by uh, t asking us a question on our Twitch chat. Or go and find an interactive universe. Go to see. Can I have a character? Uh, uh, you're Dave Easton. You already are a character. Ah. You're not real, Dave. Oh. Okay. You're <laughs> Can I have a character? Can get in the ring? No, no. Well, you can, but you wouldn't do very well. You're old. You're old. I'm not old. You're 47. Old. That's old for a wrestler. Well, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, please welcome. He is the curfew man, Curtis Barnett. You know what I always say, Dave? What's that? Never bet against an original. That is true. But also, don't bet against an original's bedtime. Absolutely. We need to finish this little quick thing and get back to bed. This is the curfew man, of course, Curtis Barnett, or CM Barnett, of course, as many people like to call it. Obviously, it hasn't had a long time since Megan. Uh, oh. R.I.P. R.I.P. She's not dead. She's not, of course, she was. She's just not in NSW anymore. So she's dead to us. <laughs> That's so true. Yes. Nice to see Curtis Barnett back, of course, after his failed um, MMA career. Yeah. That was uh, it's quite a funny scene and get the kick, the shit kicked out of him though. Well, especially after you're having a match for so long and then decides, you would put him on pay per view, what do you expect? Yeah. People telling us that Megan died in a car crash. No, that was just a vicious rumour. Spread by Dave Easton. It, what? <laughs> you're the I one that told me that, Dave. I heard it was that Miz Delta at the weekend. Oh, that NSW insider got all the scoops okay. and rumours. Of course, uh, we are underway for our second match here tonight. Smackdown match, of course. Of course, for uh, Curtis Bonnet and Shinsuke Nakamura, both Smackdown superstars. Yes, indeed. As uh, Both men really, uh, we didn't see much of both men last year, of course, of course. We're talking about the MMA career of Curtis Barnett, and of course, we've got to remember Shinsuke Nakamura is the longest reigning uh, Intercontinental Champion in NSW. Yeah, very, uh, very impressive. He'll be one of maybe he'll be has it maybe he'll have his eyes set on whoever wins tonight. Yes, of course, Vladimir, big the Russian Vladimir, of course, Tim Price's favourite, of course, and then uh, Jason Jordan, who is the next the... Gener next generation of great. It's what. So the next generation are great. I'm happy with this generation of great. <laughs> Sadly, hasn't won a match this season. Ah, oh, it's all right. It's just uh, TV and problems. Yeah, of course. Maybe you need this father to help him. And of course, you can um, ask your questions uh, in our Twitch chat by starting with the message, Ask Morgan. Uh, as we were talking about in the last match, Morgan got some fan mail this week. I did. Yes. Um, it said... Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll read it out to you, Morgan. It says, Morgan, you are the best commentator in the world. Please, can you have my children love Laurie? Sadly, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm otherwise preoccupied. Yeah. But I would uh, love to have your children. You just would have no contact with them. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hardest part of the ring there by uh, Shinsuke and Curtis. Or CM, or whatever you want to call them. I have a question, Dave. Why did you get my fan mail um oh you weren't here um it was uh it, it was after you it was on another show it got left 
So I've got a question, Dave, but I'm not going to answer it because it doesn't pertain to anything right now. Okay. Ask me a question about the main event or what's going on in the ring. Um, what's going on in the ring? Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura is going for a pin. And it could be a win. No, two kind of only. Come on, Dave. You know better than to bet against the original. Oh, that's true. As uh, Shinsuke could be lining up to take out the original here right now. Oh, King Sasha! And the curfew man might just be sleepies. Yes, he is. Well, next time, better get some original. <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura making quick work of the curfew man here tonight. Now I can get to bed on time. <laughs> you might get to bed on time. I might do. That is a huge win for the uh, for Shinsuke over the curfew man. I know he said he made his entrance short. I didn't really have to make his matches short. Well, you know, maybe he's getting ready to watch it in a Connell title match. Maybe. Talk about ladder matches. Oh, what about this? Ladder match. What about this on Sunday night? Money in the bank. If you like ladder matches, why don't we throw six of them at you? Oh, <laughs> in one we'll night. match you all out. I tell you one thing: you, will, if you love a ladder match, make sure you join us for Money in the Bank. Stay tuned to our Twitter, of course, for start times of that. Coming up next, we're back to Raw. Is John Woods, uh, of course, who's tag team partner Finch P. We became a tag team champion last night. Uh, we'll take on one, uh, one tech Nogi and everyone's here with Dan Masters outside at ringside. Inside, oh. outside at ringside, you know what I mean. Come up next. Well, well he's got to be here because Max King Frost was here this week. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first being accompanied by one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Finch Pee Wee, he is John Woods. What's the other half doing, Dave? It's Corey Saban. What's, the, what's he doing? Why is he here? Well, he's not part of the Pirates. Not yet. No, I... I <laughs> well... I, I know, I know that you've had some interaction with him on Twitter. Yeah, we're, we're not the best of pals. I can, I can certainly see by the tweets you send each other. And I'm not the best of pals of the Pirates either. Are you friends with anyone? I'm... friendly with... people. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent being coming to the ring by Umegle and the hype man, Dan Masters, he is Noki! Oh. Great guy. Not the one in Money in the Bank on Sunday. No, that's Umegle. His uh, cousin? Uh, yes, cousin. And cousin. Very hard to tell them apart. Apart from one's got a very pointy beard. Yes. And Dan Masters in the back, of course. He does just look a bit out of place, doesn't he? Dan Masters, he's the hype man. He's the what? Hype man. A shite man? Hype. H. Oh, oh, H. Okay. H man. Hype. 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 Oh, hype. Same thing. Mm. Yeah, anyway, back to a lot of the superstars not liking me. They don't like it when I talk because I tend to get them in trouble. Yes, of course. We haven't seen it or heard from Fallout in a couple of weeks. Uh, that's not my fault. Hmm. They, uh they fogged up. Well, they did that, but you didn't help them, to be honest. I mean, it's not my job to help them. Is it? Well, yeah, but... Mm. Let's get on with it, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, ring de the new ring design brought to you by Ring Designs, bringing you the best ring designs for your ring. So, Dave, now Finch Pee Wee is a tag team champion with someone that isn't John Woods. Do you reckon that's playing on John Woods' mind? Um... Possibly. Do you reckon he might, um... Oh, oh my god! Go. Oh, blue shirt, come on. Blue shirt! Can you not just go th through one show without getting knocked over? Jeez, last night. Last night it was Dan Masters. Tonight it's John Woods. For what? Knocking over the ref. Ah, of course. There's a. Yeah, Finch Pee Wee and uh, Corey Seaman. Who would have thought that would have ever been uh, a team to win the tag team championships? Well, nobody did. And of course, if you have got any questions, uh, please do uh, start the, your um, message in our Twitch chat with Ask Morgan. So, maybe John Woods was on a singles, trying on a singles run, sorry. Well, he did try and win the United States Championship, remember? And he failed. <laughs> yes, he did. Remember that. As a cover here by Nogi. Nope, not on this occasion. 
Remember, bets are open, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't bet for this contest. Uh, still to come, of course, uh, uh, the Intercontinental title match. Jason Jordan, who's yet to win a match, somehow gets a championship match here in NSW. Yeah, a bit strange. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have Loki in this match. Ah, really? Yeah. He's got, he's got um, the Shite Man and Immortal. Hype outside. Man! Oh, hype! I just keep, H, uh, hype! Hype! I keep mispronouncing it. Ah. As a... Noki looking for a bit of a submission here. Uh, John Wood's quick to get out of it. Yes. Can't uh, stand too much of that. You know, it's, it's a wonder. You know we do five shows a week, right? Do we? Well, yes. All right. Five, do. five shows a week. You only do one because you're lazy. Oh, you're yeah. not that very good. One of the two. It's um, probably the second. That, yeah. Why do we always have to do it at the same arena? Why can't we just do, do more, the same arena and save costs? Um, because Vince McMahon likes moving around a lot. Oh, especially main event, there's only four matches, Jesus. Uh, and he doesn't care because he's got a private jet, so... Well, he's not here as well, obviously. Yes. In, into the cover. Who's my favourite wrestler in NSW? I don't know, who is I, it, Morgan? I really like... Go on, um, see it. I really like that. That psychopath, Danny Six. Oh my goodness! Well, six, six roses. Yeah. How many roses will you get your? Ah! Oh, Stunned by John Woods, quickly into the cover, but two the other ropes, and the referee, um, seeing foul ball. <laughs> I'm not going to get my love of roses. I'm going to get her a hedgehog with a love heart. Morgan talking absolute bollocks. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, one of the questions was, how many roses am I going to get my love of this Valentine's Day? Ah, right. I think the joke is six roses. Oh, my God! Probably. He just caught John Woods out of the air. John Morgan paying no attention to this match. Sorry, I was paying attention to the chat. Bit, a bit like his commentary, commentary career. Paying and no attention to the match. <laughs> leaping clothesline. Oh. Meg, Megal, of course, uh, well, we could be seeing uh, Megal become Mr. Money in the Bank on Sunday night. What a thing that would be. And, of course, we were talking about this on Raw last night. W would he uh, would he go against um, Mar uh, Oliver Bisping? I'm going to think so, unless he's dumb as fuck. Do you know, that? have you been learning the, the Tim Price recap? If I, if I, if I, never mind. Words. Oh, no. You Swear see, words. Dave, you're, you're so clean. We need some edge. Ah, no, ah, he, no, he's on rage. Uh -huh, okay, my bad. As a DDT into the cover, Noki looking for the win. No, oh, just a one. John Wood's not looking too impressive here. Could be about to be put out of his misery. Super kick. I think, ladies and gentlemen, you can count to a hundred. One, two. Three, no! Just two! Can John, we get to five, Dave? John Woods, well, if three ain't enough, as the nerve! Three ain't enough, man, I need five. The nerve. Nike really gets on my nerves. Why? What, what's he doing? Well, I'll tell you, hold that thought for just a second. Because he's going to, to elbow the pirate right in the heart. That's almost 300 pounds dropping right on you. 300? More like 320. Oh. Cover. Oh, come on, Noki. Oh, two can only. Oh. Oh, no. Not the Noki drop. Up oh, there you have it. It's a very original name. <laughs> well, it's NSW, what you expect. That's fair enough. As, uh, he doesn't even want to finish John Wood. He, he wants to do more punishment. Oh, and he's not he, busy this and then he gets busted open. Oh. And then trouble in waters. Seas. Choppy thing. waters. Choppy, choppy waters. I don't know. Wait there. So how did Noki get all, take all, like, give all that punishment to John Woods? He gets one back elbow and then gets busted open. Um, Bladen's gone too far in the SW. <laughs> you can say that again. We need to ban it. Oh, well, Noki's... The blood is fluent. He is... Well, I think he could have won off that, to be honest. Close one. No, just a two. 
Thank you to our new followers, if you have followed the stream. Welcome to the madness, which is NSW. As yeah. a super kick! For the second time, that's got to be it, Dave. My goodness, that's it. Cover, hook of the leg. Is that enough to put away the pirate? You know it is. Go back to your ship. Ship. I did say ship. Oh, wait. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, he is Noki. Noki's beat a sailor. He is down since one day. Oh, day one. Sick. And, well, could this be the beginning of a great week for one sec? Uh, of course, Noki in the Money in the Bank on Sunday night. Talking no, about Money in the Bank. Money in the Bank. Yeah, talking about Money in the Bank. Who's the last person to join the SmackDown Money in the Bank ladder match? We'll find out tomorrow night as Willie Street takes on the Yes Man, Daniel Bryan. Make sure you join us for SmackDown Live. Uh, me and Tim will be there tomorrow night on Valentine's Night. Oh, great night. Vince McMahon loves the Yes Man. He does. Daniel Bryan loves saying yes. We'll find out tomorrow night if he can say yes. To being in that uh, Money in the Bank ladder match. I mean, I heard it's in his contract, he's not allowed to say no. We'll find out tomorrow. Coming up next though, Jason Jordan has yet to win this season. If he wins this one, he'll become the Intercontinental Champion. Will it happen? You know it won't. But it's coming up next anyway on Main Event. Love the confidence, Dave. I mean, you know, I'm a realist. Yeah. I'm an optimist. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the challenger. He is the next generation of great, Jason Jordan. The next generation of greats. You know, you've got to give the guy credit. He keeps trying. Maybe you should just stop. Maybe you should stop. Maybe we should stop. That sounds a great idea, to be honest. All right. Magic no idea. We won't see you next week. <laughs> Do you know Jason Jordan's record this season is 0-7? Wow, that is shocking. Almost as good as your commentary. That's uh, very nice of you to say, Dave. Ah, it's a pleasure. Come. <laughs> Jason Jordan, though, can he become the new Intercontinental Champion? Not a chance. Well, he looks confident. But... Is he going to beat this man? Ladies and gentlemen, being a coming to the ring by the Professor Yuri Watson. He is the current NSW Intercontinental Champion from Mother Russia, Vladimir. What's he Professor of, Dave? He's not the Professor of Dave, no. No, what is he the Professor of? Um, good question. Wrestling Dave. Wrestling Dave? Yeah. He's the uh, Professor of Wrestling Youth. <laughs> I hear you like to do it on uh, Valentine's Day especially. What, wrestling? Yes. Well, it's my life. Oh no, I heard you like to wrestle in the bedroom, Dave. Morgan, really? I've told you to keep our secrets out of this commentary position. Well, well it's not the only position, is it? <laughs> that's very true. But, um, of course, Vladimir, uh, you're reigning Intercontinental Champion. Uh, of course, as we're seeing, Tim Price's favourite superstar, of course. Vladimir? Yes. It's because he's a communist. That is correct. Because he decided he weren't Canadian after after he uh, had troubles with a lorry. Yes. Everyone seems to have problems with her, him. Especially the kids. <laughs> you did go there. Uh, oh, absolutely. And of course, uh, is a Vladimir. I was going to say, is that the last time Vladimir is going to hand over the Intercontinental Championship? But there's, of course, more chance of pigs flying. Not a chance. I wonder if this is the first ever time a uh, commentary team have actually hit, give one of the persons not a chance of winning the match. So, Dave, this is a question more for you. Yes. What submission move do you do in the bedroom? I love a good ankle lock. Ah, always the best. As a. Well, with Jason Jordan starting on the front foot here. Because if you break their ankle, they can't run away. Am I right, Dave? <laughs> that's, that's very true. Uh, what's that? Oh, Morgan being sacked next week. Fair oh, enough. Fair enough, yeah. Who, who's that from? I don't know. I just thought I'd talk to someone next to us. Uh, the mute. Mm. Fair enough. You'll send him price here next week, apparently. <laughs> Please, no. 
as uh, both men swing and a miss. Jason Jordan, do you know what Jason Jordan? He could be an Intercontinental Champion with the worst record of all time. And Not on, a chance. On the other hand, he could be about to be destroyed. Uh, I he think could it, be, yeah. It's more the latter, to be honest. Yeah. Poor, poor Vladimir being put in this match. Who thought this was a good idea? Well, you know, like Masri, we need these champions to be on the shows, I guess. What is it? What, what does it say on his shorts? On on whose shorts? Vladimir's. Vladimir, surprisingly. Looks like it says Val Vladimir. Yes, it's Russian with Vladimir. Is it? Yes. Not something new every day. Yes. It's a special Russian um, spelling. So if, if Jason Jordan is the next generation of great, who's yes. the current generation of great? That'll be me. All right, Dave. Is it Jordan? Try and put yourself over, why don't you? <laughs> well, it's about time, to be honest. Is Nobody else does. Dave yeah. is great. Dave, no? No. no. Do you have the walking with Eastern signs, of course? They do. Oh, yeah. I prefer to... Wait a minute, yeah. You win a Canal champion? No. Sorry, I got a bit excited, to be honest. Sorry, mate. I prefer to walk with Edge. Why? Why? What's so good about Ridge? It's just a, just a great show all round, to be fair. Ah, fair enough. And, well, it does beat everybody else on the ratings. Example. As uh, Vladimir picks up a two count. Still a little bit of fight left in Jason Jordan. Might not be after this. Let's, uh, let's end that right now. I think so. Uh, into the in up and goodbye and thanks we've got a bloody coming. cut as well thanks for coming Jason well this might be a very short oh, well that's a very short main event tonight not worth getting out of bed for I guess yeah. three there we have it Vladimir retains the Econel Championship and Jason Jordan now moves to Owen 9 I think Owen 8 Owen 8 yeah oh dear. well ladies and gentlemen there's your winner Vladimir he retains the Intercontinental Championship. And, uh, well, we move on to SmackDown. I mean, Maz, I know you like listening to me sometimes, so just sack Jason Jordan. Well. Do him a favour. Get rid of him. I've got to tell Great you. Great win for Vladimir there. That is true. Big victory. Big victory for Vladimir. Yeah, one of the toughest compass, uh, matches of his career. Indeed. Well, thank you very much for about the nine people who watched this show. And uh, thanks for Morgan for being here. Morgan, I would say thanks to see goodbye to the fans, but there's not many of them, so just say goodbye. And bye. That's it. Then you for SmackDown tomorrow night. We will see you. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, remember to join us, I guess.